Pinball Space Cadet was a virtual pinball game released in 1995 by Maxis Software. Space Cadet was one of three games available in Full Tilt Pinball. However, nobody played Space Cadet Pinball as part of Full Tilt Pinball. Space Cadet was packaged with multiple versions of Windows, including Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows 2000, and Windows ME. So basically, if you grew up any time in the late 90s or early 2000s, and you were a kid who had computers at school, you played this during indoor recess. I mean, what were your other options? You had cards, 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 Minesweeper, more cards, or pinball? I'm 10, I can't understand those games. I just wanna hit a ball. The game involves you playing as Buzz, a chipper young space cadet who is eager to fly around the galaxy, but first must learn how to fly his tiny little spaceship, which will keep him alive for about three and a half minutes before the vacuum of space kills him. Buzz can be seen at all times in the game flashing a thumbs up sign right above the number of balls he has. The game is organized so on the left is a cool pinball table that looks like a lot of fun, and on the right there's a lot of words that are really boring trying to tell you how to play the game. One of the primary objectives of the game is to change the color of the pop bumpers from blue to green. Throughout the game there are arrows which are constantly telling you where it wants you to shoot the ball. If you follow these arrows, you have a good chance of improving your score. The arrows guide you along missions, which basically drive the gameplay of the game around. You start a mission by shooting one of the three left targets, or all three, to start a special mission, which will give you more points. Then, you shoot the ball up the left ramp into the launch area. Once the ball goes through the launch area, the mission will start, and it will give you a pretty simple task, like shoot the bumper seven times, or shoot the ramp that you just shot three more times. A few of these shots are pretty easy to hit. The launch ramp can be hit multiple times with successive shots from the left flipper. In fact, if you just hold the left flipper up as the ball returns down the left inlane, you'll be able to catch it and shoot it up the left ramp again. The game gets tricky when you have to shoot any of the shots at the top of the playfield. There aren't that many ways you can actually shoot into the top areas of the playfield. You shoot it towards the top and cross your fingers and wait for the ball to hit something you want or to come down to the flippers again. And herein lies the most fundamental flaw of the pinball game. You can't actually control anything about where the ball goes. I mean, sure, eventually you can catch the ball and aim it, but anything at the top half of the playfield is a random shot. Oh, hey, did you see that? Yeah, that was actually really important. You can earn extra balls in this game in two different ways. The first way is to shoot the hyperspace launch four times. This will light extra balls in the left and right outlane, which is pretty significant since the ball travels to those outlanes multiple times. However, this only remains lit for about 60 seconds. The second way to light your ball is to, now get this, shoot enough of the red targets to light wormhole which means that the triangle in the bottom right corner of the game is lit as a certain color and will change if you hit any other red target or any of the spinners. There are three wormholes located throughout the game. If you hit the wormhole that matches the color of the triangle at that time, you will be awarded a replay ball. It turns out that if you do this in the real version of Full Tilt Pinball, you'll be able to enter multi-ball and score jackpots but they decided to take that feature out of Space Cadet Pinball because it was too much fun. And the controls are pretty simple. You hit one button, the left flipper goes up. You hit the other button, the right flipper goes up. And when you start the game, you hold down spacebar to pull the plunger. There are three other buttons which can nudge the machine left, right, and down. A lot of people think that this is cheating, but no, this is cheating. One of the best things about this game is the sounds and music. Yes, I know the music is only a 60 second midi loop, but it's the best 60 second midi loop to have ever been written by any composer at any time in the world. A big complaint I have about this game is, yes, well I realize that it is called Space Cadet Pinball, but they really have to put the pinball machine on another planet where gravity barely even works. I mean, you can sometimes hit the ball, go grab a drink, come back, and it still won't have returned to your flippers yet. Plus, when the ball finally does land on a flipper, it usually bounces wildly into the slingshots and back to the top of the playfield. You don't really have any control over what happens to it. Now, as for the actual pinball playfield design, I sort of get what they're going for, but I don't think it works too well. The game came out in 1996, which is when a lot of great titles had already come out, such as The Addams Family and Twilight Zone, and this game sort of feels like a throwback to more of the early 70s pinball games. One of the best things about this machine is scoring. Pretty much everything's giving you no points until you complete the missions like the game wants you to. This forces you to actually try to shoot the shots that the game wants you to make. 
It's not a very good game design, but it does make for competitive gameplay. The missions range from easy things like shooting the bumpers nine times to defending space by upgrading your flags, going into hyperspace mode, coming back, and fending off alien invaders. However, all this really translates to is the arrow changes position on the playfield, so you have to shoot a different shot a different number of times. And this makes gameplay very repetitive. Overall, I would say that Space Cadet is one of those games that's only really fun for the nostalgic value. You know, the game doesn't have much to offer besides a great sound package. It's not very good pinball, it's certainly not a very good video game. If Space Cadet is one of your only experiences with pinball, I do recommend trying to go to an arcade and really learning how to play a pinball machine that has come out in the past 25 years. Do you think this video was good? Let me know and I'll make more videos, I guess. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and click the ads.